Hi everyone, how was my last tutorial part about the masculine gender of the German nouns? Do write your reviews in the comment section. Now in this tutorial part, I am continuing this topic and I am going to show you the feminine gender of the German nouns. So let's have a look. So not only will all female people have the article D before them, which includes all female professionals also. But nouns other than people will also have the feminine gender. So typical endings that will help to determine the feminine gender of German nouns are I, E, I, D, Polizei, the police in general. So not the male or female officers, but the general term for the police. Height, gesund height. Now this long noun actually has a word that helps to remember that this word means health. The word is gesund. Gesund, written with a small g because adjectives, verbs, adverbs will be written in small letters. Nouns will be written with the first letter in capital. This word means healthy and it is used as an adjective in the German language. So, if you can remember that, then it is easy to remember the noun. Gesundheit. Ion. Die Lektion. The lecture or the lesson. Kite. D Fähigkeit, the ability. Once again, this noun has a word that can help you to remember this long noun. And the word is Fähig. Fähig, like gesund, is an adjective in the German language, written of course with a small f, and it means able. So, if any person is able to do something, for example, so in that sense, this adjective is used. So, if you can remember Fähig, it is easy to remember the noun Fähigkeit. Schaft. Die Freundschaft. The friendship. This time the noun has another word that can help you to remember this long noun. But 
the word is not an adjective this time. It is a noun. Point. Point generally means friend, but their point specifically means a male friend also. The point in is a female friend. So because point means friend in general, the way to remember the big noun point shaft is by remembering the meaning of this noun. And last of all is the ending unk. Die Bedeutung which means meaning. Now this noun comes from the verb Bedeuten to mean which I covered in my previous tutorials. To mean meaning. So do stay updated for part 3 of this tutorial in which I covered the last gender which is the neutral gender of the German nouns. Thank you.